objective issues to ensure that uh, the Muslim community is engaged with our civic, uh, civic process, mainly through voting, understanding what laws are being passed, as well as uh, being connected with our elected officials so they can understand the issues that impact the community. Lastly, uh, we are in, in touch with not only just the uh, members of the most community, but practically all the citizens who live in Chicagoland and the state of Illinois. What's very important is that uh, we're aware of what really binds us together as, as United States citizens or people who just decide that they want to have a job here or want to study here or just want to simply live here. And so we do this through various ways. One way is creating internships and volunteer opportunities. Other ways is through public education initiatives where we pretty much branch out uh, beyond what we find to be uh, our comfortable zone and we want to be sure that we are exposed to different ideas and experiences because America is very diverse. Uh, practically every country has some representation, not only, of course, throughout the United States, but definitely here in Chicagoland. And so my presence here today is an extension of my role uh, in the outreach department, which is public education and also working with our youth. So the sign that you see here is a uh, the, pretty much technically the sister program of PYLP. This is stands for the Muslim Youth Leadership Symposium. Very much like yourselves, we have students who are in high school, mostly. I understand we have a few college students here as well. Uh, but they're, they're high school Muslim students throughout Chicagoland and sometimes from other parts of the state who pretty much come together to learn that being Muslim and being American does not have to be polar opposites. Instead, there's many beautiful things uh, with the understanding of what the United States um, uh, way of life is, as well as what it means to be a Muslim and a way of life for a Muslim. And they both pretty much join together to become harmonious. And one way is to really see how they both match up that way is by doing community service. Because at the end of the day, all our communities need to improve. So a lot of the things that you guys will do during your course of the program here and when you're in Washington, D.C., will be, in fact, the similar things that the students that are in the program that I run uh, will also uh, be able to learn and uh, implement in some fashion. So most definitely, um, you guys will be able to see uh, some of the things that we do. And just to break down a little bit more specific, um, one of the things we want to ensure that activism for youth um, is very much key to molding us into becoming very well informed and engaged adults. Uh, a problem that we're finding in a lot of communities, not just the Muslim community, is that once people become adults, life hits them very hard. And they're very loved to just only consider working and just making it day to day when we know there's so many issues that are prevalent throughout society. And so it's very important for us to remember that, you know, no matter what our faith background is, no matter what political ideology, weight in our life experiences for that matter, 